Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for my lovely Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. How are you doing Pisces? I hope you guys are doing amazing. How did you guys feel this uh, Scorpio full moon? I know a lot of people were really feeling it. <laughs> There's been a lot of um, a lot of endings, a lot of new beginnings as well. So uh, keep in mind that we're still under the influence of the full moon. And the full moon in Scorpio, 8th house, it is about secrets. It is about death, rebirth, transmutation, transformation. Um, so again, a lot of uh, old ideas, old patterns, old way of thinking, dying out. Um, and the rebirth of a new way of living, a new way of seeing things, or a new way of leading our lives towards our purpose. Um, it is also very connected to the underworld and that of the spirit realm. So again, um, a lot of spiritual downloads, a lot of awakenings, a lot, a lot happening. <laughs> so I hope that you guys are dealing with the energies best you can. All right, let's see what spirit has for you, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, for the month of May 2021. Okay, one more shuffle. Okay, here we go. So the first card here is the Two of Pentacles, the Magician, the Page of Swords, the World card, the Ten of Swords, the Six of Cups, the Knight of Cups, the Five of Cups, heavy emotional energy here, you guys. The Lovers and the Nine of Swords. So I'm not really uh, reading the general energy at the bottom of the deck, but when putting it down, I did see the full card. So again, new beginnings. I'm just going to put this here. I'll put it here so that you guys can see. Um, Okay, so what they're telling me here is we see a lot of endings, um, a lot of conclusions. We have the Ten of Swords, the World card up here, um, and the Nine of Swords. So there is a conclusion, an ending cycle. Obviously, like I said, um, before we even began your reading, Pisces, there is a new way of dealing with life or seeing life Um or how we decide to move forward, okay? So there's a lot of transformation that's happening right now. So right at the center, we have the Six of Cups. For some of you guys, looking towards ending some type of connection, some type of relationship, um, it could have been that it came to a conclusion. It could have been that there was an ending um, separation, some type of energy where there was a conclusion. Uh, because we do have the world and the Ten of Swords. So again, Six of Cups, looking or feeling nostalgic, looking towards the past or looking at past experiences. Um, so we're starting off the month with the Two of Pentacles, feeling indecisive about making a decision. The Magician, knowing and understanding that you stand in your power. So there is no indecisiveness here for the month of May. You have to be assertive in the decisions that you make moving forward. So this is a accumulation of knowledge. This is finding out uh, the ins and outs about a situation that an emotional situation that you're dealing with right now and how you're going to proceed. I see a lot of you guys ending toxic connections. Um, now, when I say connections doesn't necessarily mean just love and romance. This can make, uh, this could represent also making the decision to pull away or create some type of distance between you and people that you consider to be toxic to your energy. This could be family members. This could be friends. This could be relatives. This could be your neighbor. Um, this is a, having a greater awareness of your energy. Um, for others of you, this could be directly connected to a relationship where there was some type of ending some type of ending cycle. Like I said, for some of you guys, it could have been a 
ending of the relationship itself. Now, with the two of pentacles here, I'm seeing that for some of you guys, you're dealing with choices for the month of May. That's going to be your, that's what you're going to be experiencing primarily. It is about deliberating, should I entertain that which has already been dead or has died, meaning situations, people, circumstances that are no longer serving you should continue on the path of allowing them to come back in whenever they feel that they're ready or whenever they feel like they made their moves, it didn't turn out the way they wanted, they're coming back around. Are you going to continue allowing that? Um, or are you going to embrace this full energy, this new beginning, the magician, uh, transformative transmutation? Um, it is about removing yourself from toxic energy to be able to vibrate to your higher self, your higher frequency, um, your purpose, basically, is what they're saying. Now, there is some type of information that's going to be coming out um, for those of you guys that are in separation or ha there has been some type of ending, there is some information that's going to be coming out or that you're going to be hearing uh, in regards or in connection with your partner or the person that you were dealing with. Um, there is almost like a feeling of confusionness with the Five of Cups um, still mourning the loss of the relationship or still trying to cope with that. Uh, with the two, uh, sorry, not the two, with the lover's card, uh, you're at crossroads right now, Pisces. Again, we go back to that of the conversation of the full moon in Scorpio. It is amplifying the energy of what must, what we must allow to die, um, what we must allow to finally put to rest. There is, for those of you guys that have been in a, dealing with some type of dynamic in regards to uh, relationship that, you know, you guys pull away, you break up, you come back together, you break up, you come back. Some type of ping pong, basically. Um, instability is what they're saying. And up until now, there there's a refusal on your part to release this energy. Now, for others of you, it could be that you are dealing with a situation where you feel like you have outgrown the relationship or you have outgrown the person you're with, but you're still holding on to it. Uh, it could be out of feeling some type of responsibility. It could be because you feel like children are involved. Uh, it could be that. But what they're saying here is don't use that as an excuse because believe it or not, oftentimes more than not, Usually when I deal with clients, the reasoning in their head to not like to completely end a relationship is because the number one excuse is because of children. Oh, because, you know, I don't want um, my kid or my daughter to grow up, et cetera, et cetera. But in reality, you're teaching them that it's okay to be in an unloving relationship where anything that the person does triggers you or anything you do triggers them and there is constant bickering and fighting like you're doing more harm and more hurt to your child because you're allowing them to think that that is a healthy relationship and it's not do you see what i'm saying so what they're telling you here is it's important for you to be completely transparent and honest with yourself is it really because of the children or is it because you fear being alone? Is it because you fear starting all over again? These are questions that you're going to be wondering or asking yourself in the month of May. And what they're telling you here is, again, with the lovers, you're at crossroads. There is a decision to be made. Whatever decision you make moving forward is going to create either stagnant energy feeling of being stuck, not being able to move forward, or it's going to propel you towards a new beginning that is guiding you towards a loving, healthy relationship and an elevation, an upgrade of what you've dealt with in the past. But the decision lies on you moving forward. Now, for some of you, 
you may be dealing with a situation where there is or there was a bit of instability in your connection. So it could have been that you or your partner was kind of refusing some type of commitment. And I feel that this full moon in Scorpio triggered your subconscious or their subconscious to become aware of the true reason why they were scared of commitment. And for some of you, it could be that your partner realized that the fear of commitment in itself was not really fear. It has more to do with not wanting to put themselves or their children in a situation where they themselves dealt with growing up in an unloving or unhappy home. And that could be what they were really trying to avoid or that was one of their fears. But again, the full moon in Scorpio, I feel like it triggered them on a deeper level to really understand and they are coming into the understanding that you are worth fighting for, that you're worth attaining or giving that type of commitment. So for some of you, it could be the elevation of, of the relationship, some type of commitment, some type of elevation, moving in together. Uh, for some of you guys, it could even be that right at the point of thinking or wanting to end the relationship, you ended up getting pregnant or you will be getting uh, news about pregnancy in the month of May. And that's going to propel a new beginning. Now, for those of you guys that are in an unhappy union, like I said, it is up to you whatever it is that you decide to do moving forward, but should you continue to deal with this person or to allow them to keep coming in after they had their time, right, their free time to do what they wanted and come back around, now, this could be you as well, Pisces, because it is, it is a general reading. But what I'm hearing is whatever it is that you've been used to, that dynamic is going to change. So as an example, if it is you, the one, Pisces, that has a tendency of breaking up and then you come back and then you break up again and there's like almost a habit, be careful because this breakup could be it meaning that they're not going to embrace you again. There is, like I said, a, a, an elevation of awareness where they're not going to continue on the path or pattern that you guys have been dealing with in the past. Now, for some of you guys, it could be good. For others of you, it could be bad, especially if you're the one that has a tendency of creating issues or fights or arguments just for the sake of breaking up, just so that you can go do what you want to do and then come back around because they always take you back. That may not be the case in the month of May. So just putting it out there, you're forewarned. Now, if this is your partner, the one that goes out, gives some type of excuse to fight and argue so that there could be a, a breakup so that they can be free to roam and then they come back around, you may become into a higher awareness of understanding that you're done, that you deserve better, that you shouldn't be at home waiting for them to contact you or waiting for, you to, waiting for them to call you, that you deserve unconditional love, a loving, healthy relationship. And this could be you walking towards your happiness, concluding or creating some type of ending to be able to go into the next cycle of your life. And we do have the full card here. So we have all the energies here. We have Gemini, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Aries, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I don't see Earth energy. With the Two of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. I was looking straight at the two of pentacles and I said, I don't see earth energy. <laughs> oh, 
All right, let me pull out a major arcana. Let's see what is the energy that you need to embrace for this month of May 2021. What is the energy that Pisces needs to embrace for this month of May 2021? Yeah, you guys, if if there is some type like some type of toxic energy in your relationship where someone has a tendency of like breaking up or walking away only to create distance purposely, like that's going to come to an end. Either you or your partner is like, uh, this is it. And it's going to be unexpected in the sense of like either them being surprised at the fact that you're not going to take them back anymore or you being surprised that they're not going to take you back anymore. And it's almost like, like just be warned because I feel like it's really going to like if you weren't even aware, if this is you, the one that does that, you weren't even aware of how much you care and love this person, you will feel that pain when they no longer take you back. It's kind of like, you know what they say, we don't know t what we got till we lose it. So we don't have it anymore. Well, that's kind of what they're showing me here. So keep that in mind. Okay. Pisces, what is it that Pisces need to embrace for this month, May 2021? Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right. And we have the World Card. So you guys got the World Card twice. Ending cycle, conclusions, going into the next cycle of your life for some of you. Um, for some of you, this could also represent, um, okay, so I'm hearing very strongly for those of you guys that are single, stop living in the past Pisces, like remembering or thinking of the person that you were with thinking like that you miss, you know, that you miss them. You don't miss them. You miss being in a relationship or loving someone. Um, and what they're telling you is you're still under the influence of Scorpio's full moon. So you could be overly emotional. And what they're telling you here is be mindful of your thoughts. There is an ending cycle. For some of you guys, this could also be uh, karmically. So it could be those of you guys that have been single for quite a while. You were dealing with karmic energies from the past. And that could have been the reason why you've been single up until now or you haven't found a person that is that has sparked your interest because there are unresolved karmic um lessons that you needed to go through and what they're telling me here with the two worlds it's like the past life experience and in this earthly plane Figuring that out or figuring those lessons out or working those lessons out to be able to embrace and go into the next cycle of your life, which is exactly what you're doing. So again, if you've been single for quite a while, let go of the past. Stop thinking or reminiscing so much about the past. There is love coming towards you. There is a new beginning that's coming towards you. Release your fears. For those of you guys that have or constantly find yourself fearing or doubting that you're ever going to find someone um, or being in a serious monogamous relationship, let go of those fears because the fear is what's keeping you from being able to connect on a deeper level. And I do see that elevation. You have the lover's card, the knight of cups, love coming towards you or love already being around you, ending a karmic cycle, uh, karmic lesson from past experience or past life uh, that has already been balanced. You are now, again, moving forward, being transmutated, um, the elevation of your energy being, you know, uh, to its highest potential to be able to bring to you that loving, nurturing uh, relationship that you deserve, Pisces. So I'm going to be pulling out another Oracle card. <clears throat> This is the energy that you're going to need to work through for this month of May. This is a shadow work. For those of you guys that don't know, this is what you need to work on yourself to be able to elevate 
or vibrate to the highest frequency that you possibly can. This is aligning yourself to your soul purpose. And we can't do that unless we work on our shadow side. So let's see, spirit guides, <clears throat> give me a card that represents Pisces and what they need to work on themselves moving forward for the month of May, 2021. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Thank you, Spirit. And we have Subway. So, if you guys can see here, there's doors. And that's what I was being shown with these two uh, world cards. It's like you guys are experiencing or have been experiencing like having one foot in your past life energy and the other foot in this earthly plane so there is a there is an ascension that's happening right now with you guys and i feel that for a lot of you you may be feeling um or experiencing a lot of like karmic energy emotional trauma from past experiences and i feel that that's something that you're going to be working through for this month of may if you feel at any point like you're lost or like you've lost direction, you are unsure, um, the best advice I can give you is be patient with yourself and take it a bit back. Sometimes we're unaware that we are what is the detriment to us moving forward. It's almost like when you panic and you can't move forward or you can't move backwards, you, you just you're just there. You're like, stuck frozen um and i see that happening on an emotional scale so again if you feel that in the month of may you become overwhelmed um know and understand that there is always other gateways like the subway what i mean by gateways is uh there is a lot of stops like whatever's for you or whatever's meant for you is not going to pass you by because you can always get off in the next exit. Do you see what I'm saying? Like metaphorically speaking anyways. So what they're telling you is what's meant for you is not going to pass you by. Stop living in fear and start moving forward towards the life that you're wanting and that you know you deserve. All right, my lovelies. I wish you guys the very best. I, I hope that this gives you some type of insight, guidance, and we will see each other soon. Till then, take care. Bye.